YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. This is Mama Lee, and today I'm gonna make a uh, roti boy. It's um, actually the Asian uh, coffee buns, and it's very popular back home. And um, I think they have it over here. They call it Oh My Buns, and I'm not sure if they're there. They're from Vietnam or from somewhere in Asia but they have a it's a store, a store. in the park mall right yeah the east southeast had a two sides so called delicious. all my buns all my buns so what we do here first what we need is a warm milk 150 milligrams from this recipe we're gonna make about eight nine buns so this is my own recipe though after I study I make my own recipe. All right, this is one teaspoon of uh, yeast. Oh well, I need more, more yeast. I need a little bit more yeast. I use active dry yeast. Let's see how it goes. I've been practicing to make my own bread every day. Well, not every day, but whenever we run out, we don't buy no more um, bread from the store. Because they're not good. They just, they're good, but they just, you know, have too much preservative. And then from there, we put one teaspoon of sugar. So one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of yeast and 100 milliliter of warm milk. And What's that an American measurement though? That is American. Milliliter? Yeah, milliliter right here. ML. Yeah, but don't they have like an American saying? Oh yeah, but they both the same. I don't know. Let me see we the other live, side. We're not living in Europe. We're living in America. I know. It's about a little bit over two thirds of a cup. How many ounces is that? A little bit below six ounces. Okay. Yeah. Five ounces. Of, like that. Okay. Just let we're it. We're not in England. Let it stay. All right. Mix that up. Let that stay for a little bit. Okay. Now, what are we doing next? Is there a recipe she got written down over here. She doesn't have her mixer anymore, it burned out on us. Yeah, we gotta do it manually. So, here we gotta put 250, oh, I mean, one, one and one eighth cups of um, bread um, flour. Bread flour. Any particular kind of flour? White bread flour. flour? Bread flour. Bread flour. Do you have a name of that you use? Or? Bread flour. Oh no, I don't know what the no name brand name. No, and then we add two tablespoons of sugar to that. More sugar. Yeah, more sugar. You this know is, I'm this diabetic, right? Two tablespoons of so sugar. You're making is this not bread gonna, for you, not it's me. It's not gonna kill. Well, this is a sweet bread. You've tried it before, before you're. Diabetic. Before I found it, that's probably why I'm diabetic. No, it's not true. Okay, so that. And then you add. Oh, I forgot my. You gotta beat the egg. You're gonna add one egg, but you have to you have to beat it first, right? Right. Beat it because you're not gonna you're not gonna mix it in the mixture, so you just have to beat make it. sure there's no baby chicken in there. No baby chicken. And add it to the one large egg. Is that a grass-fed free-range chicken egg? No, not this one. I didn't get that one. Kill him. I think you have to write it down on your channel, you know, all this recipe. Why? You just watch the video and then you... I know, but then you got to keep on, you know, going back. Well, write, the, write it down as you watch this video. 
I there. speak slowly. Then you right, add. We got the milk, the yeast, the sugar, and the bread flour, and the egg, and yes. the sugar here. And now you're putting what else? Half a teaspoon of uh, salt. Sea salt. Well, you. I we only use sea salt. We only use sea salt, but people use Himalayan kosher. sea salt. That's about half a teaspoon, right? That's good to me. Okay. Half a teaspoon. Because this is the teaspoon. I don't know where the half teaspoon. Okay, now you just mix it first. Are you aiming it through this or right. what? Don't, don't tell me how to film a video, woman. I think you're looking down somewhere else. The camera is looking. I'm looking somewhere else. But the camera is. Can you see? Can you see? You're looking I'm on looking, the table. I'm, I'm looking at your half for your half teaspoon. Don't worry about it. It's done and over. Why am I not? Okay. So you mix it. Now you add. What is that? Oh, okay. What is that? Look what I just found. All right. And then now you mix. Open your eyes, Stevie Wonder. Mix the this the milk that had uh, mix the liquids in with the dries. Yeah. Okay, the dokey. Okay. You sure this is gonna make nine buns? What's it, it gonna do? Rise or something? Rise, of course. Eight to nine buns. Eight to nine buns. Yeah. Are these mini buns? Well, it's gonna be mini, but then it'll rice. You know, like bread. The first time I had uh, roti uh, bread is uh, when we were going to Indonesia and uh, flying on Asian Airlines. Yep. And they give it to you as a snack, warm. And man, it's so delicious. Yep. And then when you get done eating it, they, bring you, they come and bring you a microwave. warm rag, wet rag after that, where you can wipe off your hands and your face. That's a, one of those air buses, right? Yeah. It's like a three-level airplane or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's a fancy, smancy plane. All right, then knead it, and then just mix it well. And then after that, you have to add um, about 30 grams, uh, I mean two and a half tablespoons of uh, butter. Two and a half tablespoons of butter after you mix this. Yeah, but you gotta knead it a little bit. Let me wash my hands. What do you mean knead it? That looks that looks awfully runny to be kneading it. You'll be surprised after you knead it, you you will it will harden. That looks like pancake mix. Nah. Hey, I just invented something. Oh. Roti pancakes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. All right. Don't be afraid. Get your hands in there and get them all sticky. Mm -hmm. If it's still runny, you just add a little bit more. What's the difference between you using that and the spatula? Spatula, I cannot knead. But I think I need more bread powder. More flour? Flour. Can you get it from me? Where's it at? She got her bread flour here. And she's trying to translate from Indonesian or Indonesian Matrix. recipe. Metrics over into standard American yeah, so it's English hard. recipes. So she's adding a little bit more flour. Yeah, Actually, yeah. like what? One tablespoon you put? So far. So far. Uh, another yeah. tablespoon? Yeah, just put I don't think we're going to make eight to nine buns. You will. You will be surprised. Then again, you know, the Asians are very tiny people, so it might be many buns. So, so far, I added two. I think that's all I need. Yeah. All right, you're going to get this kneaded up and then, yeah. uh, and then, we'll and then you're going to add the butter. Yeah. And we'll be right back. All right, she's adding another tablespoon. Not what, but no, what like about half, half a, a teaspoon. Half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. Yeah. Isn't, isn't half a tablespoon and half a teaspoon? No. I put one more tablespoon. One more tablespoon. So you added three more tablespoons. Yeah. Is a little more. Yeah, I was correct, right? When I said it's too runny. Yeah. What'd you say? It's on video. What'd you say? I was correct? Almost. Almost. <laughs> I got you saying yeah. Alright. So I need it and then I'm gonna add three, not three, two and a half tablespoon of butter. 
goodness. She's going to add two and a half tablespoons of real butter. Uh, unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. Okay. This is unsalted. It's one. One. Two. Two. And a half. Two and a half. Now, if you live in Tucson, you go to the Park Mall, which is on the southeast side of Tucson, they sell this roti bread. They don't call it roti bread. The store is called Oh My Buns. And they have all different types of flavors over there. I, it's they it's not bread. the same recipe as this is, but if you want to go try out what roti bread is like, you can go there because it looks exactly the same as roti bread, but they have sour cream, roti bread, they, they have, have roti uh, bread that has chocolate chips on it. Mm -hmm. They got plain roti bread. They have almond. Almond bread, roti yep. bread. And uh, it, I would say it's kind of like a giant round donut though, right? Hey, well, not really. It's Made bread. Made of different flour or something? Yeah. It's got a sweet taste to it. I can see why now. You put all this sugar in there. And it's only two tablespoons. Wait till you see Two the topping. Listen, you only need. See, you gotta need it. You see how, how hard they get? But this is gonna be eight buns. Eight to nine buns. So Many buns. It's not. Well, I don't know. We'll see how it comes up. And then it has to rise still, right? Yeah. I think it's still soft, though. I think I'm gonna have to put a little bit more. More flour? Uh, so, so far three, I need the tablespoon. I don't have that t table, tablespoon of dirty. Where's my tablespoon? You need a tablespoon. A spoon. All right. Yeah, a spoon. Her regular tablespoon has got butter in it. So we're adding more now. Yeah, just a little. I think it's going to be okay. All right, we'll get this all mixed up. We'll come back. Right, and if we add any more flour, I'll let you know. <laughs> right, we should call this add more flour bread. Yeah, well, right? the measurement is just different, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna right. call it. Add more flour bread. We'll All be. right, we'll be back. Okay, I had to add one more tablespoon of uh, flour, and I'm, I decided to just blend it because it's gonna take a long time. And then I'm going to knead it with my hands afterwards. Alright, she mixed it with the electric mixer and now she's going to knead it with her hands. Uh, this is her first time making this roti bread. Yep. So. First time. We got how many tablespoons of more flour? 29? Uh. <laughs> that was five. I don't even remember. You have to I go should back have and just used this. Maybe. I have to go back and review the video. Anyways, this is showing you how she's making it for her first time. Oh she goodness. loves eating it. It's going to be delicious. And we'll see how it turns out. Alright, I'm done kneading it about 15 minutes by hands. And uh, now it's ready to be risen. Cover with some plastic and yeah. let it rise for how long? An hour. An hour. Yeah, and then in an hour time while waiting for that to rise you can do the topping. The topping? Yeah. What are you topping? Mm -hmm. Making it's a topping? It's the coffee topping, yeah. Coffee topping? Yeah. All right, let's see the coffee topping. Okay, since uh, we are in a place where less humid or when you have, you know, when you're in a winter or something, this is the, the way how high I uh, actually rice my bread. The secret? The secret way, the fastest way. You boil? Uh, boil water. Boil water. Okay, and then. Put it in a pan. This is for what? Baking pan. Yeah, but what are you making? What is this for? This is to moisture, the, make the, the oven humid. Oh, she put her broti right. boy flour, it's rising for about an hour. She See? put it. Put the plastic cover with the rag, and now she's going to put yes. boiling hot water Underneath. into the oven. Right there. Okay, now waiting That's for an hour All for right. that to rise with the secret ingredient. She's going to make the topping. So she's going to need a blender, another mixing bowl. 
some powdered sugar, some coffee. I don't drink coffee. Uh, and an egg and some uh, butter. What is this stick you got over here for? What? You got butter here and you got another butter here. Uh, yeah, I gotta explain that. Alright, what it is? And then you're gonna need one of these things too. Okay. See Two what? things. See, inside the bread, you will, well, when I'm going to show you later, you're going to put butter so you can cut your butter into pieces. So what I do is this, in your butter, it says one tablespoon. So I cut it one tablespoon and cut it in half after you cut the, so for example, it says, you know, there's a line here, just cut it in line. And then you cut it again in half. That's how I come up with that. But okay. see, I love butter, so I'm gonna put this much you butter. Love butter? You love butter more than Jerry? <laughs> no. Oh, you but love butter more than me? No. Oh, you love. I love more butter, butter in my bread. Okay. Oh. So, anyways, okay. so some people just put it in a cube, which is like they cut it a smaller cube and then put it inside the bread. But I like my bread buttery, so I put it. You hear that, Jerry? He's that much. He's always around. She's cooking. Look at him. Yeah, hey, yeah, I heard it, Dad. I heard it. Hey, camera. Oh, okay. So you put this in the fridge. Go. Put it in the put fridge. Put it in the fridge. So it doesn't melt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, got it in the fridge, the butter. Yeah, I need flour, though. Regular flour, not bread. Regular flour? flour? Yeah, I would suggest watch the video and if you like it and this is something that you want to make, go back, rewatch the videos and then write down the ingredients because it's, it'll be easier. So she needs flour. She's got this is all purpose flour now. Yeah. And uh, this is for topping, right? This is for topping. So be some kind of coffee topping. So there you go. There's your flour there. All right. Here we go. First is the coffee. The coffee. Need to whatever kind of coffee you want. No, it's an instant coffee. You need instant yeah, coffee. Yeah, but there's more than this name brand, right? Yeah. Well, you can use decaffeinated. Is that caffeine? It's caffeine, or you can use uh, decaffeinated. Well, that's half a teaspoon. Yeah, that's half. I need one teaspoon, so I need two of these. What happened to my teaspoon? Oh, it's. I don't know. What you washed it. Before in the sink. I only had the teaspoon. Now I have only the half a teaspoon. I don't know what you're doing. It's in the sink. Here. Oh, this is the right teaspoon. There. That's Never tablespoon. Mind. It's dirty. No, this is teaspoon. You see? It's not dirty. You just washed it. Not the teaspoon. Oh, the teaspoon is dirty. Okay. All right. Well. Now I need. Oh, I need to dissolve it in hot water. One teaspoon of hot water. I need hot water. I think it'll dissolve in regular water. No. It's coffee. The magic of YouTube, she boiled some hot water. That's a lot of water. This is one teaspoon. Oh, okay. You just dissolve it. So you, you boil the gallon of water for one teaspoon. One teaspoon to of water. It. Dissolve okay. the coffee. Dissolve the coffee, and then what? And set aside. Okay. It's going to get cold. That's fine as long as it's dissolved. Okay, in the meantime, you blend four tablespoons of... Where's the butter? Right there. All right. It's all melted it's mushy. It's a little bit melted, so that's what we need. So this is eight tablespoons, so you just have half of it. See? There's eight tablespoons, and you need four or half cup, a uh, quarter cup of oh sorry this one is still unsalted butter but the the one for the topping the one that I cut in cubes those are salted butter it's salted so what's the difference salted and unsalted but I mean why what do you got to have salted for well you want it like inside the bread Salted. salted. I know it's unsalted and salted is. I just want to know why you're putting salted if you're using unsalted. This is for the topping. 
Because okay. inside the bread, we use salt. Okay, dokey. Okay. We need a bigger kitchen. Yeah, we do. So four things. Next project: remodeling the kitchen. All right, we got half a stick of butter in there. And four tablespoons. Unsalted butter and four tablespoons. Four tablespoons of powdered sugar. She's going to be putting in there next. We use powdered sugar because it's for topping. We don't use. Because it whips up easier. Yeah, and then you don't have that crunching. Well, what if you want to have crunching? Can use it. No, I'll use that. All right. Now, is this four actual tablespoons, or is this you adding four? No, and you're this keep is adding like four. The flour? No, this one is four. Okay, you sure? Yeah, I'm Have you ever made this happen before? No, but you can put less. It depends how sweet you want it. Okay. So that's that's three. This is three I definitely am not eating this. You you trying to give me a eat. diabetic attack or something? Alright, right, there's four. I can put less if you want, but it's too late. Take a little sample bite. Okay. Alright, All right. next, and after then, this. Another four tablespoon of flour. Of all purpose flour. Okay. Alright, here we go. There's one. one. Two. two. Two, two tablespoons, ah, uh, ah, uh, three, three tablespoons, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. four, four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, ah, uh, 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 Okay, now you put one <coughs> egg. Can you shush me? Where's the egg? <coughs> the chicken and a lady, yeah, here you go. All right, now. Now we're going to put one egg added to the dry, dry ingredients here. Here we go. One egg. Fortunately, there's no baby chicken oh my in God. there. And then... Now we're going to add the dissolved coffee. Dissolve. Grinds. In with this mixture. Yeah, uh, it actually smells good, but I don't like the way the coffee tastes. Oh this is going to be a delicious coffee. Mm. And then we're going to blend it with the electric blender, right? No more ingredients? No more ingredients. Okay. It's Last plugged one. in. Be careful. It's plugged in. Oh, it's so it's ready to go. Okay. Now, Alright. We'll get this blended up. All Alright. That's all mixed up. I don't know. It oh took about God. seven, eight minutes. While well, she did that, I was washing oh, it's so delicious. the dirt. Let me give mm. it a little taste. Even though I don't like coffee. Right. Try it. Oh, my goodness. Man, that is really good. Alright. It's mm. really sweet, but it's... It's not that sweet. It definitely tastes like chocolate. Not chocolate, but coffee. it's got a coffee. Oh my goodness. Got a coffee tea. What kind of coffee is this? Nescafe. Nescafe Classico. Oh gosh. That actually tastes good. It tastes really good. Okay, so this is the stuffing. It's done. Okay. When you, after you bake the bread, that you're going to put this, this uh, stuffing inside of this stuff, right? Right. Okay. I'm going to put it now while waiting. So, once the bread is done rising, oh, you're going to put that in there now? Yeah. Alright, you need a spatula. I got it. Oh. Okay, hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. right, now she's gonna put it into the piping, whatever you call it. Whatever this is, the uh, cake what is that, bread filler or stuffer mm -hmm. thing. Huh? Yeah. And Did that's gonna bread? get all inside of there. Yeah. And once uh -huh. the bread is yes. finished rising, look. all right, we'll be back when it's ready for the next step. Yeah. All right, it's been about an hour, fifteen minutes. She's taken it out of the oven. I take it out of the oven. Yeah, Let from it rise. rising. It doesn't look like it rose at all. Yeah, it rose a little bit. You know, it was like a bowl. Looks like a pancake. Mm. Okay. Once again, this is her first time making this. Right. 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 And she heated up some more hot water again and put it in the oven. Yeah. For why? I gotta rise it one more time. So, we're gonna so now what are you going to do to it? Okay. I'm going to cut it and then... Where did I put? Right oh. Make it like... Six. I guess it's going to make six. <laughs> not eight. 
eight or nine, like you said. It's elastic. That's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be not as yeah. thick as I thought it was. Put gonna it be. into strips and what? Roll it into ball or something? Yeah, we're gonna roll it into ball. I wish I had a, you know, where I can like uh, weigh weigh the dough, you know. Make it all scale. even the scale. One, two, what are you three. hinting to Christmas present or something? Mm-hmm. One of your subscribers will send me one. <laughs> 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 right? Right? Alright, anyway, so you cut her into some uh, like six, six sections. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be even. And you're need, kneading it again. Yeah. And you, she's got her butter out that she had in the fridge. Yeah, I'm gonna make it a ball first. See if it's make gonna it be all even. Ball. You ever try to eat the dough? See what the dough tastes like? Mm -hmm. Let me get a sample here. Is it sweet? No, shouldn't it be. Tastes like, like raw dough. Yeah, it shouldn't be sweet because the topping is sweet. You see? Okay. Like <coughs> and then we're gonna insert the. That looks all the same, right? Yeah, it looks even. Even Steven. Looks the same. Yeah, okay. Now we just create a hole. Pocket. A pocket. Some people. See, because I like it big. See? Make it like this. Sure, that's not gonna leak out. No. Mm -mm. That's why you're gonna rise it. Um, What's that butter gonna do? Oh, it's gonna make it buttery inside. Oh yeah. See, have you ever rolled a, a dough before? Nope. All right, you're gonna do that to the uh, rest of yeah. them, and then we'll be right back. Yeah. All right, she's got one more to roll up, but uh, this is uh, what is this? Wax paper? No, it's baking sheet. Baking. Yeah, no, don't put wax. It's wax will make it smoky. It's baking sheets. Baking sheet. On a baking sheet. And this is. And then you're gonna stuff you stuff in it with that butter again. Yeah. And that's salted butter, is it right? Salted butter. Right. I anticipated eight, but no, well, only make six. It's all all right. right. Well, this is what they look like, and then she's gonna put them. Back in the oven. Make sure you pinch on the bottom of it like this wow. so it doesn't melt on the bottom. So. Mm. Okay. Pinch it and then turn it and then roll it like making a, a ball. All right. And then you're going to put it back in the oven and it's going to you're gonna let it rise again yeah. for how long? Well, put it in the oven because that's where I, you know. Rice mine. The oven's not on though, right? No, no. don't burn it. She's on. got her hot, steamy water in there. There's her water again, and she's gonna put them back in there and let them rise for 10 minutes. Yeah. Rice, and then we put the topping. And then take them out, and then she's gonna put her coffee topping in it. Oh man! All right, it's been what about 15 minutes? Yeah. There we go. Just raise them a little bit. It only looks like they raise very little. Yeah. But I think that's because you put the butter in there. <laughs> How are you going to fit the, or oh, is that just going on top? This is on top. Oh, okay, I thought you were so going to squirt the inside. Well, you rise in this, uh, rise it, um, put the oven to 350. Preheat the oven? Preheat the oven for 350. 350. Okay, now she's going to put the topping. Oh my goodness, I haven't done this for a long time. You're gonna draw a little Batman? Yeah. Now you have to make a circle. You're making me dizzy. I'm gonna circle. put it over the whole thing? No, just the top. Like the side. Okay. That's good enough. Alright, we'll come back when she gets them all topped. Yep. All right, got them all topped. Now we're gonna put them in the oven and cook them for how long? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes at 
350 degrees. Yep. And we'll and be back we'll when they're it. done. We just took these out of the oven. She put the leftover extra <laughs> topping like little cookies. It's just like little cookies. Oh, and it's hot. Duh, just came up. We gotta let it sit for a little bit. Uh, try this though. Hot, hot. Mm. And then, uh, that tastes just like a cookie. Really? A uh, coffee we, cookie. We, the top thing she put on it, it all melted. Yeah. And absorbed into the bread. Let me, I'm gonna put it on this. Uh, oh, that takes good. Really cooling, good cooking. Cooling, the cooling stuff here. Yeah. Got it on a cooling tray, let them cool down, and then come back later for a taste test. But the little extra toppings mm. cookies tasted good. And my daughter can't wait to try it. They've been cooling for about five minutes. So, let's see what the inside looks like. So, you guys can see the inside with the butter taste. Oh my god, look at that. The butter all melted. Ow! Oh, hot! Uh. butter in it. Cut me a little piece, I'll try it. That's why you have to let it cool because the butter is still melting. This is our first time making roti bread, but it looks just like the ones in the store. This is a piece I'm going to try. Yeah, it looks good. It's real buttery. Mm. Yeah, but you have to let it cool. Uh, well. And it's not too sweet. It's salty. No, it's not sweet at all. Because I put salt it's in it. It's buttery, butter. though. Why do you put salt? Well, there I you go. That's how you make roti, bo uh, roti bread. And, roti uh, bread. What is roti bread? Roti is bread. Roti yeah. boy. Roti or oh, roti boy. That's right. Roti it's is bread. It's coffee in, bun. Roti is bread in Indonesian. Right. Right. So, coffee bun. Whatever. Roti boy. <laughs> If you like these kind of cooking videos, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, it don't cost anything, it's free. Oh no, the flour and ended up being two uh, and a half cups. Just rewatch the video, you can count it yourself. Two and a half cups. Two and a half cups, mm -hmm. uh, or whatever. Anyways, it's good. These are really, really good though. And I don't like coffee at all, and these are very, very good. Mm. Well, thanks for taking time to watch the videos, and tune in to the next time when Mama Lee will be cooking something else. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Get, 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 I'm going. Come on.